Coach, what is your, your level of frustration and disappointment not coming away with a victory like you always wanted to, but especially on this particular evening? Um, we all wanted to win this game really bad. But our guys, I, I couldn't be more proud of how hard they played. You know, they've endured a lot this week. Uh, it was a heavy and emotional night, um, you know, from the tribute all the way throughout the game. You know, we felt it. And um, our guys poured their guts out, out there. Yeah, so I couldn't be more, I mean, we're disappointed we didn't get the win, but I couldn't be more happy and more proud of, uh, you know, our guys' effort and, uh, you know, and their performance. Hey, Frank, how would you just describe the whole evening, the pregame ceremony, the emotion that went into that, you guys trying to then focus on basketball? Uh, what was that like from your perspective? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very emotional. You know, I mean, our guys were teared up going into the, uh, you know, to, into the jump ball. And, um, you know, you could just you, just, you just felt it the whole night. You know, you wanted to give maximum effort, but, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we had a difficult week, you know, and um, in a situation like that, you know, all you ask for your guys is to put forth maximum effort, you know, and, and try to lock in as best you can mentally. Um, you know, and they did that, and they did it at a high level. We ran into the hottest, hottest player in the NBA who just shot the, shot the lights out tonight. And then when, he, um, when we brought double teams throughout the night, uh, he was able to find guys. Whiteside goes 13 for 14, and shooters got going. Uh, had some good stretches, and um, you know, you tip your hat. The Portland Trailblazers have played a great game. Frank, well, what stood out to you with how LeBron approached the game, and also what did you make of how he handled uh, addressing the crowd beforehand? Well, he was what he said was just beautiful, you know, and uh, it was strong, and it represented who he is, and 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 really who we are as a team, as an organization. I thought the tribute was extremely well done uh, by the people in the Lakers organization, and and the fan support was, uh, you know, not surprising, but it was off the charts. You know, I mean, it was really a great night um, from all those standpoints, and uh, you know, for Bron to. Um, you know, be up there and, and speaking uh, to Laker Nation with, with such strength. Um, you know, it really represents what we're all about. Uh, Frank, to your right. Uh, once the game started and, you know, you were drawing up plays and timeouts and, and things like that, did it feel normal right away or, or do you, did it take some time for maybe everything to, to feel normal for you? Uh, <laughs> that first stretch did not feel normal. Um, you know, I, in some ways, the, the whole night didn't feel normal, but you do get into uh, you know the, the the competition of the game, and you know you you allow your you know you you ask yourself or you push yourself to be focused on on the task at hand, and you know I feel like uh, our coaching staff and I feel like our guys uh, did that at a pretty high level. Um, you know we just fell short. Uh, Frank, by halfway through the second quarter everybody active on the roster had gotten into the game w was that by design conscious yeah it's uh like i said you, and we're a family and um you know we've, we've become this this per, this current group has become a, a family very rapidly uh, by nba standards and um you know we all shared this this week and we all were on that plane to hear that news and um you know i want to give everybody an opportunity to contribute in this game